I'm Ryan Friedlinghaus, CEO of the world famous West Coast Customs. What started as a $5,000 loan from my grandfather became this. The most creative and innovative custom car shop on the planet. This is my world. And this is how it's done. to reality, you'll see it all inside West Coast Customs. I just got a really good phone call from Adam, which is uh, the owner of Juice Blends, which is a company out of Florida. They do smoothies and nutritional stuff. He wants like a 34-foot RV that we can gut out the whole inside, turn it into a juice bar. Okay, Adam, thanks. They need to have it done in 30 days. So I gotta really get on the move on this one. I gotta call my friend Frankie over at Giant RV, see if he can get me an RV really quick, and then get the guys on this and get it going. What's up, dude? Oh, you ready need to a, yeah, check I need out RV. these uh, RVs today? Let's do it. I need something that more used, I think, that we can tear apart the inside. Yeah, we need to go to a Class A style for Some, sure. Yeah, something Party that's... style front. Totally. I got something. I'll you got something? There. All right, let's I'll go. Take you, I'll take let's you go. There. Sweet, just like my grandma's house. I think this one will work, Frank. So, uh, are you going to take this thing home? You going to be the one driving it? That's the trick. I've oh, never, dri I've never driven now. an RV before. We're in trouble now. I could put this in cruise control and just roll. Roll to the desert. <laughs> so this is a new RV. There's a company that came to us called Juice Blends. They want to do this a mobile smoothie truck. But before we do anything, I think we got to strip it. I was just checking out the Juice Blend website and just trying to get a feel for the company and what they're all about. They're very bright. A lot of it is nutrition. I mean, they're really, you know, they have a big nutrition plan. Complete sports supplements, vitamins, herbals, blah, 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 blah. So maybe when Adam comes out here, I can ask him to give me a little bit of his uh, juice and vitamins and maybe put myself on a little diet. How you doing, man? How's it going, bro? Good. Good to see you. So I just met Adam from Juice Blends. Definitely a, a cool guy. I showed him the quick renderings that we did just from the information I had over the phone. He liked them a lot. Our brand is, is obviously really edgy, and which is why I think this uh, partnership with West Coast is going to be really cool. I'm really pleased with the renderings, and I hope they're going to look as good in person as they do uh, on paper. Since I'm thinking this thing's going to take 30 days, I'm going to put myself on a 30-day program, get this done, but also take care of myself too. So this is like a West Coast uh, transformation for Ryan. Ryan and I initially sat down and began talking. He seems uh, really inspired uh, with juice blends and this build and uh, I think he's gonna want to get in better shape so we're gonna come out here with our trainers see if we can help him out. We're gonna get him on a detailed supplementation program and of course drinking the juice blend smoothies. So in the next 30 days I want to see my mobile blending unit churning out smoothies and uh, we want to see Ryan get in better shape. We're going to start off with your basic 28-foot RV and transform it into one sweet smoothie-making machine. To make this RV pop, we're going to start by designing a cool, colorful wrap. Then we'll have a window so customers can order their smoothies and mount two TVs hung vertically as digital menus. And to keep the customers cool in the heat, we're going to install a new bright green awning. But on the inside is where the magic happens. The front of the RV is all about luxury. We're gonna start by installing a colorful leather couch 
lined with some fake grass throughout to give it that tropical feel. Two 42-inch LED TVs will be hooked up to a satellite dish so people can kick back, lounge, and enjoy their smoothies. In the back, to create the premier smoothie station, we're gonna start off by installing some sinks, an ice maker, and of course, some smoothie machines. Load it up with some fresh fruit, and this thing's ready to roll. I'm gonna put Moscow on this build just because I think he's the right one. He's the right fit for this build. He really knows what we need. Maybe I'll grab Daniel, have him help him out. Ishmael's definitely gonna have a lot of work on this one. Me and Jeff gotta sit down, make the design, get this thing wrapped, and do a juice bar. So I just went over the build with the guys, kind of laid out what needs to be done. So here we are. This is the juice blends. Basically on the side, we're gonna keep that same window, not change it, do two plasmas for the, um, for the menus, and then a reader board across the top with a countertop that flips down. We're gonna maybe build some little stairs for the kids. Let's go inside and check it out, get a better idea of it. Dish, you gotta really get down on this interior because this is gonna be like their little VIP area. The seats and interior, I think we go with their colors. I'll get you their a book on them, like with all their, their menu and all their colors, but I think it should be orange and green or whatever it is, kind of stick to those colors. We're gonna reuse this couch or build off? Yeah, I think we build yeah. off of this couch. How much time do we have? We have uh, 30 days. Like always, you know, under pressure, but there's no crying about it. We have to make it happen and, you know, Ryan expects 110% of everybody involved in this project, so we cannot let him down. Once I have all the info on the kitchen, we're gonna have to figure out a lot of things that are gonna go with this kitchen. It seems like it's gonna be a simple job looking at the pictures, but once we start tearing things out and trying to fit everything, that's when the problems happen. Refrigerators and blenders and all that stuff. Rory has a book of everything that they send when they set up a, a unit. So he's gonna get us the actual, equipment's gonna be here this week sometime. So you'll be able to look at the equipment and see how to lay it out. First, I gotta make sure that we get all the equipment and then from there, we're gonna see where we're gonna put all the equipment. So it's gonna be fun. I think we need to get on it first thing in the morning, get a list together, figure out what we need to do and get going on it. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna let the guys loose on it right now, at least get started on it. And then once some of the equipment shows up, we'll go over another plan. But I think they got a good grasp on it, what needs to be done. Yeah. Your uh, trainer's here. Okay, cool. Can you send her up? Yep, no worries. All right, thanks. I know Ryan's a really busy guy and he has a lot going on, but we have 30 days, so we've got to get him healthy so he can continue doing what he does best. My goal for you, because we have 30 days right. to get you in shape, just to get you feeling good fast, feel, you know, feeling lean fast, we'll train your full body, because I'm only going to see you twice a week. So in those two days, I'll hit your entire body. I don't really think he knows what he's in for yet. Yes, we're gonna make the tough guy cry. <laughs> Salad, vegetables, lean protein. You can have red meat once a week. That's it. <laughs> wow, okay. And I'm being nice. Okay. <laughs> all this has to go though, because we're not gonna have any room. I was thinking maybe all in one machine and yeah. an elliptical and then those mats. There's a guy I know down the street that has a fitness equipment place. Okay. He'll, I think he'll take care of us. Hey, Ryan. Hey. John. Nice to meet you, John. Good. Nice How to you meet you. Good. So it's, I'm ready. You ready? In shape. Yeah. All right. Well, thank, thank you, brother. Really appreciate Thanks it. a lot. All right. For the TVs, Moscow, we need two for the outside, two for the inside? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get them all from Best Buy. Oh, that's cool. We got the 46 inch, it's for the outside reader board. Okay. 32 inch for the inside. 46 inch for the other side of the door. And the 40 inch for the VIP lounge. Thanks guys. This is gonna be the size of the window. So once we cut out the, the hole, we're gonna install the window. And then from inside, we're gonna, we're gonna put two TVs. One in, one in each side of this window in the center. And then from there, the people can see the menu. This week, uh, we make a lot of progress. Outside, we cut out the windows and install the two TVs for the menu. Well, as you can see, I got the uh, ticker in. 
It was actually per pretty much the perfect size to fit in between everything, so everything looks proportional. So I think we're pretty much ahead of schedule. Good. Good job. Clean and simple. Yeah, and it works. Coming up on Inside West Coast Customs. Just don't do too much, please. Currently at the RV, it is a ghost town. I think we have a problem. I don't think you're going to be able to get this through that little door. Is this all the equipment? No, this is part of it. It's coming in this week. I think I think we have a problem. I don't think you're gonna be able to get this through that little door. Let's see. So we're gonna have an issue right now. We have a big issue. I think the only option we seriously have is to cut a, cut a hole in here and load it in through the back. That way you can forklift it in, you can slide it off into the deal. I think we need to figure out from the company, maybe we could put two doors right there where that window is. Should I just measure these things and see uh, how much inches we can get? Or just do one it? door and just do one big door. So should I base the, the door up the walkway in, inside yeah. or? Yeah, in the middle. Right in the middle. Right. And then cut a hole. Cut a hole in this thing today. Got a door. Four. And this is just to get all the tissue open straight up to the ceiling. So it's one. How is like your back and everything feeling stiff? Workout one is finished and completed. He was definitely out of breath and definitely needs to get in shape. But for his first workout, he did really well. I definitely, you know, pushed him as far as I knew he could go today. Now that will change over time. From here on out, it's going to get harder but easier, I guess. I mean, hopefully I can be able to breathe a little bit better. <laughs> So we just found out that the manufacturer that's making the last bit of equipment for the juice blends build shipped it directly to the corporate office for juice blends in Florida instead of to us here for the build. What's our problem? Well, you're not going to really be happy about it. I figured. Uh, we are missing three items, the two big stand-up freezers and the one chest freezer. Mm -hmm. They were coming straight from the manufacturer, and they were supposed to bill it to juice blends in Florida and ship it to us in Corona. It's all going to Florida. Uh, won't arrive in Florida Surprise. till Monday or Tuesday of next week, and then maybe get turned around the same day and come back to us. The biggest problem with that is we can't really lay out the whole interior of this thing until we have all the equipment in place. So it's gonna hold up the flooring, the wiring, the drains, all that type of stuff we gotta do. I gotta get on the call with Adam anyway. I gotta tell him how much this is holding us back. So I'm gonna get on the phone with Adam today, go over a couple questions that I have, a couple things I need from him, and let him know that he needs to figure out how to get this equipment here quicker because it's holding up the build. Hey, Ryan. How's it going? Good. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? OK. Uh, the big issue I guess we have right now is all the equipment, I guess, that we've been waiting for is being sent to the wrong place. And then the guys told us it was going to be about a week to get it. OK. OK. Is there any way you can fix that? I'm going to have it all overnighted to you. You'll have everything by Monday. OK, perfect. And then the good news is, is that I've been working out for a week now, and I feel good. Really? Yeah, Aaron really came in and uh, kicked my ass, which is, I think, oh. what I needed. <laughs> wow, that's awesome, man. All right, man, I'll talk thanks, to you. Thanks, Adam. Thanks for the call. All right, brother, thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, Currently at the RV, it is a ghost town. There's nobody there working on it because there's not much for them to do at the moment. They're all waiting for this equipment. Once we get it, we can really keep moving forward on it. I've got a document that I need Ryan to sign. It's got to happen right now. He's training at the moment. The red light's on. I'm not supposed to barge in, but I have to because Richie's got to get going and get this done by 5. Sorry to interrupt. I need a signature for Richie for the van, for Richie for the van so we can get it out. Sorry, he's got to be there by five. Sorry, thank you. It's OK. <laughs> Look at my Moscow today. What he do? Look at his hair. Moscow. <laughs> I lost him, man. The 
good news is the equipment showed up this morning. I made a phone call to Adam on Friday and told him we can't wait a week for this equipment, so he made it happen and got it locally. So we're good to go. So hopefully we can start laying out everything that's so that where it needs to go. Right yeah, I want to lay it out. Now that we got everything in place and now that the guys are working, I think it should move along a lot quicker. We brought in a couple extra guys to hopefully help out on this build so we can get this thing done. My name is Abraham and I've been brought in to clean up some of the work here at West Coast Customs. There's a lot of electrical parts that are in this vehicle. So I brought in Abraham. Abraham used to work for us about five years ago at our old shop in LA. And he was always good with the technical side of it, which, you know, Darren, I think, needs a little help on sometimes. So bringing somebody in with a little bit more skill, be able to work with Darren, hopefully they can get this thing done quick. I mean, I've been in this environment before, and it's not easy. It's a tough environment. Most of the people here know that I've been here, but I'm still the new guy. So I can't go in and step on people's toes. OK. You've got three blenders. That's our biggest concern. We're also going to have four TVs, two on the outside, two on the inside. OK. We've got the reader board on the outside as well. OK. AC unit on top that's got to keep the whole compartment cool. So we got the two generators. There's one in already. OK, got you. Once I start doing my wiring diagram, what I'll do is I'll actually separate it on a diagram so you can What's see, OK, this is going from the small generator to these appliances, and this is going from the big one to the rest. OK. The biggest concern I have right now is Ishmael. I hope he gets these seats and this couch done before his baby's born, because once his baby's born, I'm sure he's going to be off two or three or maybe four days, and that'll definitely be a big problem with this build. You know, I can get a phone call any, any moment now. My girl is on the way to the hospital. I have to be by my lady's side, no matter what. OK, let's talk about this seat, <clears throat> this couch. So I think in the rendering, it's all orange. I say you do orange or some green, right? So orange straight and uh, orange vinyl and some green. That color green's pretty loud. Whoa, that's too loud. That's neon. No, we're not using that. He showed me this green. I think that this green's a little too bright. I mean, it's it's definitely a neon green. I'm still nervous about that green. -ish. Give me the book. Can we look at the vinyl book really quick? You know, somehow me and Ryan, we always clash when it comes to pick colors. The problem with me and Ishmael is we never agree on colors because I really think Ishmael is colorblind. One day, when I get some time, I'm gonna take him to an eye doctor and I'm gonna find out if he's really colorblind because for some reason, every build, no matter what build it is, no matter who it's for, the colors are never what I want them to be. I'm not colorblind. I think Ryan, he's the, he's the one who's colorblind. He started blaming on me. Just a little bit, not a lot. Just don't do too much, please. I'm taking him to the doctor. I'm gonna sit there with him in the doctor's office and I'm gonna hear what the doctor says about his eye color. Coming up on Inside West Coast Customs. There are a lot more things in this kitchen than what we thought. Having to redo everything, it's pretty stressful for him. We waste, what, two days already? Today we got to, you know, come visit the eye doctor. And it's like one of those things you don't really want him to be colorblind, but you also don't want to be wrong. I'm Dr. Mintz, how do you do? He always have tell me, one of these days, I'm going to take you to, to the doctor. And today, that was the day. And honestly, I thought I was going to prove him wrong. All the time, I battle and battle with Ishmael mm -hmm. about colors when we're doing interiors and stuff on these cars. Mm -hmm. And I always tell him, one day, I'm going to take you to the doctor, and I'm going to check if you're colorblind, because yeah. I swear to God, you're colorblind. Yeah. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. We fight almost every single build we fight on. Let's start by doing this simple test, and then we'll discuss color blindness if it's for real. I mean, they have a book that you just look at and can tell you that you're colorblind. You can see that there's a number here hidden in the spots. Okay, this one's easy. Everybody gets it. Go ahead, Ish. 12. Right? You know, the first one I can tell right away because it was like a, a light color with a bright color on it. Okay, now they start getting a little bit more difficult to detect. <laughs> Hold on, do you have uh, magnify glasses? Let's get a little closer here. Oh, this one is a five. Okay, so this was actually a five and this was actually a three. 
Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Let's try I it. Swear I'm not, I <laughs> don't play around. Dude. I swear I'm not playing around. But then when the ducks start flipping the pages, they were like, I couldn't see nothing. The one on the right, I know it's four. Mm -hmm. But this one, I don't know what it is. Where's? Yeah, something more clear that I can see. After the people see this on the TV, you know, people ain't gonna trust me. Like sea green and the and, and the number twelve is orange. It's like you can distinguish it like right away. But the other ones are like all the same color. Right. Like guessing, like I'm guessing. So I guess the main question is 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 Ish really colorblind? Yes, he is really colorblind. Anything that you can do to fix my problem? I think definitely it was a letdown for Ishmael because it is one of those things when you find out something like that, it's like, oh man. It makes me feel bad, bad because what I'm, like I say, that's what I do for a living. Say now I'm gonna lose my job. No, you never. <laughs> At the end of the day, you know, Ish is Ish. I'm, I am who I am. We are always gonna work together and we'll just work through this. So we just make a deal. From now on, I, I don't wanna have nothing to do with colors. I'm just gonna leave. Up to him. There are a lot more things in this kitchen than what we thought. You know, originally we we're like, oh, it's just gonna be some stainless steel tables and we're gonna put blenders on them. But with all these fridges and freezers and juicers and all this other stuff, it is some figuring out that had to be done. The issue on the inside is the blender table interferes where the window, the serving window is because we flipped the window. So they have okay. the three blenders oh. and then the juice stands up so there. What, what do you want? You want to flip it again? I'm, I'd say flip it again so it's in front of the register. That's gonna kill they're it. going to. That's going to kill the steps. That's, that's going to kill, kill the steps. Step. No, we can't do that then. I put the blenders. How about this? Ice let's get all the equipment where it's supposed to lay out and let's take some pictures of it, send it to them, and let them look at it. All right. Here. Ice bin here and the pump. Yeah, the and pump then, and then the ice. Yeah, so you and then the blenders and the uh, cups over there. That way they'll be able to reach from here. The table's 30 inches from the wall. 30. Do you still think you're gonna be able to reach out the window to put the cups on the tray? Once we have the bins in place, see about maybe doing a small notch out. But something you gotta talk to them and ask. Yeah. I'll... Maybe you should ask before we even do this because when we make it, it's gonna be, we're gonna waste that. Okay. You have to make another table. Yeah. I'll yeah. call them and find out and then uh, hopefully I'll have an answer before Miguel gets here. All right. So we can have all the measurements. It's been a really rough day, phone calls and emails, trying to get the line of layout of the build. We got the final call today after the third conversation on the phone. The CEO, Adam, at Juice Blends has confirmed. We've come to an agreement. It's finalized. Moscow can now get started and finish the project. Moscow? Yeah. Got a couple changes to do. We got some changes. You got well, we got the final word on what's going on with the rest of the equipment. Uh, so now they change it. So what it means is all the day was yesterday and today, which is waste. So it means that we waste, what, two days already? Yeah. Get to move some stuff from one side to the other and shift everything around. We're going to put this freezer behind me uh -huh. next to this one and then shift everything down and get rid of that little table that's at the end. Yeah. Move that table to the opposite corner and then shift everything down this way. It has to happen? Yeah, this is for coming from the CEO. The CEO wants this freezer or fridge next to the VIP lounge so that people can get drinks out quickly and easily. Man, so we are gonna start all over again? Yes, but this is it. This is it for this sure. This is it for sure. I think Moscow was a little frustrated, you know, with the changes and all that, but now he's got a direct path and he's gonna go hopefully full speed ahead on it. So we moved this one, it was on the other side, so we move it in here, and then these two go together. I think it matched pretty good. And then now, we has to move this one. Okay, and after this one is gonna go the prep table, so which the prep table is gonna start from here, where is this fridge now. And this one, it used to be all the way in the back, so now we're gonna move it close to the window. So now the register is gonna be here next to the prep table, so we're pretty good. We finally did make our 
decisions. So this is going to work pretty good. Uh, Miguel comes this morning, he takes uh, all the measurements and we specify what we need in the vehicle. He's going to do all the counters, all the sinks and all the stuff made out of stainless. So it's a good help for us because uh, the kind of stuff is kind of hard and difficult to do in house. So we prefer to call somebody and help us. So what I was thinking, I was just, you know, reduce this pipe, try to cut a little bit on the wall and go all the way against. And then maybe when you do that cabinet, you can give me a couple of inches so couple I can... Inches. Okay. Miguel is going to take uh, three days to have it all. But as um, soon as he got the first table, he's going to bring it to us. So we confident the time that we have. So you got everything right. Yes. We got the table, the prep table, the register, and the refreshment table. And also, uh, we're going to have the sink. Yes. So you got everything? Yes, I have it. All right. It's pretty sad when I have to see everybody like eating cheeseburgers and eating all this good stuff. And I smell it in the morning, their breakfast, and this is what I'm eating. You brought your team? You like this, huh? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get you healthy, bro. So Adam just came by with his family, set up our little juice bar. All right, well, I cleared out this area I wanna show you. Well, now we're going to start drinking the Juice One smoothies. Right. So maybe we should um, leave you up here to set this thing up, and then yeah. I can take you down and show you where we're at with the RV. So this is where we're at so far. He got to see the truck in the beginning when we started the build. Now he just got to see it in the middle, which I think for a customer, it's, it's good to see how much work really goes into these trucks. Really surprised how well things are fitting. I think Adam was definitely impressed because, you know, we've been back and forth on the phones, going over different ideas, changing things up. For him to see it personally for himself, I think he's excited, which is good. Wow. What do you think? I like it. It smells so fresh. It does. Your whole your whole <laughs> office smells like fruit now. I need to try this out now. Yeah, you ready? Uh, you ready to blend this blend this smoothie up? It's good. It's good stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's right, good. Man. You know, it was fun for his kids to see the shop and his wife to see the shop of types of builds and types of things that go on here. And at the end of the day, I got a juice bar. So I think it was a good day today. So I talked to Adam. He likes the original rendering that we showed him, but he wants to just make it brighter, is what he's thinking. What I was gonna ask is, you see how you have that swirl going all over? Can you just add green into that swirl? I'm thinking almost, because I like this. All the fruit? Okay. Yeah, like what if we did the bottom of it? I think it shouldn't be too hard. I'm still not quite sure how I'm gonna handle it, but I'll mess with it for a little bit and come up with something that looks decent. I'll put a couple things together and we'll see right. what he thinks. Coming up on Inside West Coast Customs. They're not gonna work like that. Every single one of the guys are telling me, get this guy out of here. Brian, he was a little upset, like always. No way. This is the West Coast Custom Style official barbecue that's going down right now. Aaron just left, and uh, I'm allowed to have like a little snack. That's all. all protein, all protein. Yeah, Abraham, this is the second week here. Uh, I've worked with the guy in the past. Uh, I, I know he's smart, I know he's good. As far as working with people, I can already tell he's kind of getting under a couple of people's skin. What's the deal with Abraham? I don't know, I, he's just out there, somewhere out there. He used to come back down here. He is who he is. <laughs> I mean, I got no problem with them. You know, we're. You know, for a little bit we were having issues, but we were kind of worked through the issues and we're now we're working together. You know, I brought him in to help the guys. I think right now every single one of the guys are telling me, get this guy out of here, get this guy off this build, get this guy away from me before I kill him. Yesterday I got in here and I started ripping out all the wiring, the old wiring, just kind of get an idea of whether or not I could use it for the build. And some of the people, when they start taking this thing apart, they actually cut some of the wires, so I don't know where those wires go right now. I need to figure out exactly how to wire this thing up, what breaker boxes I need to use, what size gauge wires I need to use also. It's gonna be tough. Abraham's a good guy because he likes to think things through, but sometimes I think he overthinks things. It doesn't need to be rocket science. I mean, if things not flying to the moon, it's basically gotta go to schools and hand out juices. 
Okay, me and uh, Adrian have a conversation about the RV. It's gonna be black, black, vinyl. He came on Saturday, I didn't. And this morning when I came in, I see the, the wall supposed to be orange. He ended up doing it on black. So I just went into the RV real quick to check on Ish. Um, Ish told me, surprise. And I'm looking at him like, what are you talking about surprise? Like I thought he was gonna say his kid was being born or something. Listen, what? don't freak out. I know this is not an excuse because I'm colorblind or a like that. Okay. But listen, I know the picture, the rendering, the- Oh, uh, surprise, yeah. the wall's black. That's not gonna work. No way. They want it bright in here, bright. I'm taking the blame. The wall is black by accident. I never told you the walls. I said the headliner, the dashboard, the floor. Brian, he was a little upset, like always. And you're not gonna talk me into leaving it. No, 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 hold on. Let's let me explain. Okay, right. Let's listen, let me explain. So I try to prove him, you know, that it's a good combination. The, black, the wall is black and the couch, loud, loud, bright orange. And if we end up wrapping the walls like we were originally supposed to, they're gonna take that vinyl off, clean all the glue, and we're talking a day just to do that. Black, and then the orange couches. The orange all right, couch. why don't you do this? Black. Put the couch in, put a little piece of grass in front of it or whatever, cut a piece that fits right here, and I'll take a picture and send it to him and see what he says. What do you think? Don't you think it looks better? Honestly. No. Because I think it's too many colors going on, unless we do something different on the floor. You know, let me send it to him, let's see what he says. So I uh, emailed Adam a bunch of different versions of uh, graphics that we can use on the RV, and he picked one that he liked. So now I'm gonna go back and make the file print size. We're gonna flatten it out, and take it down to the printer, and get it ready to print. You uh, drag them into the print software, and it uh, takes your big file and divides it up into panels because the uh, media is only, you know, like 60 inches wide. It's pretty bright, there's a lot of colors. It's gonna be pretty loud. <laughs> uh, we got all the parts for the motorhome, all the cabinets in the booth right now. We're getting ready to spray the black. I already put down a preliminary coat of a clear base, put just a little bit of black in it just to kind of get it to take a little bit quicker. So this way it should get the job done a little faster. Adam agreed to leave the walls on black, but the only thing that he didn't like it when he saw the picture, I guess, is the carpet, or green carpet. Instead, we were gonna use black. Miguel brought us the cabinet and we tried to, you know, check all the things that we have in the vehicle, and we find out a few things. Uh, we have a problem here. Okay, well, the cabinet don't wanna fit, man. So what you're saying is uh, you gotta move the pipe instead of cutting over there the cabinet? Yeah, for me it's better and less job. Hey, okay, Masa, it's yeah. not gonna work like that. It's not gonna work? Nope. That piece needs to be cut out completely because remember the box that you're gonna build? Yeah. For the TV? Right. So you're gonna have to cut part of that cabinet off in the back too. The problem we have is on the pipes and I need, I don't know, I need to, to take it back and try to save time to those guys and they're gonna fix it. So he's gonna move the cabinet a little bit forward and the counter back so we can fit it on the vehicle. On the other side of this build is has been my side, my build. It's been one of those challenging things for me. I gotta change everything I eat. I have to take like 15 pills a day and I have to work out with Aaron twice, or actually three times a week now and it's, it's been hard, you know, it's, I'm in it now two weeks and I think I feel so much better. I'm a lot happier with, you know, the way I feel when I wake up. I'm not as tired, I'm not as run down, and I feel more energetic, which is good. At the end of the day, I'm gonna feel a lot better, which is good. The problem is this feeling is gonna, it's hitting against here. So we're gonna make cut out. But at the same time, we need that cut out because otherwise we can run the hose to the drain. Lock it in. Lock it in, man. 
We've got the guys cleaning the side of the RV right now so we can start wrapping it. The wrap's getting finalized right now by Jeff. We're gonna start printing that and really get this show on the road. It's a big wrap, it's a lot of vinyl, it's a lot of print time, and then of course it has to be laminated and trimmed, and installation will take a couple days too. The design, it's a little complicated. Uh, there's a lot of lines and fruit and stuff going on, so lining up panels is gonna be a little bit harder than normal. I have a couple concerns with a couple areas that are on the motorhome, just because uh, they are made of plastic, and necessarily the vinyl doesn't always stick to plastic very well. We're gonna go ahead and take as many precautions as possible. I've done a couple tests prior, so that way I know when I get to it what's gonna happen. Yeah, you always have to start from back to front. Uh, that way the panels overlap properly, so that way water and rain and dirt runs off the panels correctly and it doesn't hit like the leading edges of the panel. But all in all, the vehicle is in pretty good condition from what it looks like. Uh, the guys kind of have it ready to go for me and I should be able to just get to work and get going. The electronics on this build has improved quite a bit from when I started. Before we had wires hanging out all over the place, now we have two breaker boxes and all the wires come to this point. And usually what I'll do is I'll say mark the cable with a number. Okay, and mark the same cable on this side with the same number so that when I get to this point, I know that, say this fuse right here, this breaker right here, goes to number eight receptacle. And hopefully when I plug everything in, it's all gonna work. Wow, what a difference, huh? Totally. Looks awesome. Face lift. Sticking pretty good to the uh, plastic, not having any issues. Good, priming it really well, it's staying down pretty nicely. Man, I like good news once in a while, you know, isn't it? It's nice, we've been having some issues. Surprisingly, with all the lines, how bad all the lines are, right. I got them to line up really clean, completely. Cool, thank you, Josh. You know, my girl, she's, she's gonna have a baby at any moment. So I tell her if she wait, if she wait for a, for another week, I will buy her in a car. She wants an Escalade, so. I need to make sure you get done what you need to get done before you have a baby. My girl, she went to a doctor this morning. Cause last night, hey, she wasn't feeling good. 50% chances that tonight. No. I swear, that's what you say. I hope not. But I tell him, hold it. You gotta hold, hold on. I hold said, on. if you We're hold it, me and Ryan will, will pitch in to buy an Escalade, cause yeah, that's what okay. she wants. Sure. That's what she wants. She wants to escalate to have a baby. So let's just say, hypothetically, you have a baby tonight. Are we going to be able to get this thing done in time? No. Coming up on Inside West Coast Customs. So I just got a text from Ishmael that, hey, I'm not coming into work today. Oh, man. So where's my RV? Did you bring it? So I just got a text from Ishmael earlier today. He said, hey, I'm not coming into work today. Uh, the baby's about to be born. I said, okay, you know, good luck. Hope everything goes okay. That was about four hours ago, and now he just sent me a picture of the baby. It kind of looks like him. It looks like his little whiny face, you know? His little, ah, oh, that's the right color. That's the right color. Abraham's Abraham. Doesn't look like the guys really like him that much, but at the same time, you know what? He stayed late almost every single night this week. He's got almost all the wiring done. He actually figured it out. He's laid out a schematic, so now we can give the customer a schematic with his truck. So as long as this thing works out right, I guess he'll still keep his job. Hey, this is my baby. This is my baby, Isela. She was born yesterday at 10.44 a.m. I feel blessed, I feel good, I feel more relaxed than I was for the last three weeks. Even Ryan was surprised when, when he seen me this morning, he, he even asked me what I was doing over here. You know, but I know that the Juice Blaine RV has to leave tomorrow, which is Saturday, and I don't have much to, a lot of stuff left to do on this bus, but uh, I don't know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna let nobody down. Juice Blinds is looking good. I just checked in with all the guys. Ishmael's right on schedule with the interior. He's actually got the awning going right now. Josh has got one side done. Mosco and the guys got almost all the equipment in, which means he can start laying down the floor. All the electrical's done. Cabinets are going in. 
Stereo's in. I mean, we're looking good. I think by tomorrow night, we should be ready to go. We gotta put the last generator in right now. Yeah, yeah. well, the, the generator's actually gonna go up underneath these fridges right here. So we just have to seal that off. Um, Danny already made a bracket for it. So it should work out pretty we'll good. that hooked up. They work together as a team on this build, which it, to me makes me happy. I didn't have to really get too crazy on anybody. Everybody's doing what they need to do. It's been laid out. It's been thought through. They actually all kind of worked together and, and got this thing done. Wow. That thing's bright. Outside. Better huh? outside. Yeah. Oh, man. We built some pretty crazy stuff, but... This one definitely, I think, is probably the best one we've done so far. But the best thing about this whole thing is this kitchen. Yeah, it looks crazy. Let's drive it. I think Adam is definitely going to be excited about it. So he's got a special event he's setting up about nutrition, and, you know, he's going to have a, a big school of teaching, you know, people eat healthy and stuff like that. I think we're going to get a transport company to put it on a low boy take it all the way up there, and then I'm gonna fly into Florida and unveil it to Adam up there. All in all, Moscow, you did a good job. I'm excited to actually go take this to the customer and get his reaction. I mean, it's gonna be a good day. Hey, what's up, man? Wow. Welcome to South Florida. Thank you. Good to see you. Hello. Nice. Hi. Up. How you doing? Good. How are you? So where's my RV? Did you bring it? Uh, Tito went with one of your guys to go grab it. Really? OK, yeah. cool. You think I'm going to like it or what? No, nah, I know you're going to like it. Today we have a big event. We're uh, partnering with the Boys and Girls Club, and we're uh, looking to do a big reveal. We've got a lot of kids coming in, and you know they're we're going to love it. They're going to love it. OK, so you think we can blend, uh, blend on site? I'm ready. I've been practicing a lot. Ready to see the RV? <laughs> Tito, Tito just pulled up. Did he? Yeah. All right, here we are. Wow. Dang, what a awesome. difference, huh? That's huge, man. I love it. I can't believe it. I really can't. I can't believe you pulled this off. From what we started with to uh, this, <laughs> I'm shocked. I mean, it shocked me. Wow. This thing is awesome. What man. a difference, huh? From your grandma's living room to a juice blends, miracle. This is a smoothie machine. Yeah. I can't wait to start blending on this thing. I love the interior, the seating, you know, the fact that we can have a meeting in there. The plasma screens are really cool. Uh, and it's a fully functional kitchen. I think we can put thousands of smoothies out of it, and that's what's the most important. This is definitely a West Coast work of art. I think we've got to, uh, we've got to get to blending some smoothies for all these kids. I know. These kids are going crazy out here. Thanks a lot, though, man. I love no, it. I'm awesome. Glad really you impressed. Love it. I love it. All right, man. Let's do it. Really you ready? Right, yeah. For us, I mean, it was good to come out to one of his events, you know, in his hometown, on his home turf, and be able to see what he does. I mean, his big thing is, you know, teaching awareness to the kids about eating healthy and being healthy. And, you know, if for us, it was a lot different than being at home and just, you know, unveiling it to him at the shop. I think definitely we have another customer to add to our happy list. Yay! Next time on Inside West Coast Customs. So HP gave me a call today. They want to build a Denali truck. They want to use their HP touchscreen PC and also their laptops. So I don't know exactly how this build's going to go. Screw your logo. We're going to cut a piece of metal. Once I get some of the pieces based, I'm going to have you come in and shoot some of the pearls. Now it's so far behind schedule. The customer's up.